So Tuesday's workout is a hero wad. Um, it's going to feel like it goes on forever. It's going to feel very murfish. Um, it has a total volume of almost two miles and over 200 squats of some sort. So the hero wad was originally um, supposed to be with back squats with a barbell. So if you have a barbell, I encourage you to do some light back squats. Um, we've programmed it with goblet squats. Um, just be mindful that if you do decide to front load this, first off, it's a lot of squats. And second off, if you did a heavy um, bear hug shuffle for Monday, that your posterior chain might already be pretty tired. So it might be wise to maybe just drop the weight and do body squats um, since you're getting in about 200. Um, Ian's template actually had us do a MRF cycle starting um, in ne next week or two weeks. So uh, this type of programming actually does fall in line with um, what we had planned to do anyway with our progression. So these aren't just blind body spot workouts just because we have to be at home right now. This is actually working out perfectly to our plan. The hardest part about at home workouts is finding a way to do enough pulls to counter how many pushes we'll probably be programming. So I really encourage um, you and all the coaches encourage you to do um, the extra gains, especially for today, um, because it has some of the bent over rows that will counter all the pushing that we'll be doing today. Um, it also has some midline stability um, with the side planks or star planks, um, or if you have a band, you could do some kind of a pal off press just to make sure that you're getting your core active on all sides and not just working your posterior chain.